everybody welcome back to my channel i am ashley now before i continue oh, before i continue this is my first time filming with this setup and i don't know how i look on camera hopefully it's okay i'm gonna start adjusting it because i am probably gonna start filming here from now on but just wanted to give you guys that little disclaimer before we get into the video so for today's video i just thought that i would do a video on four helpful tips for caring for infants so i can give you guys all of these tips and hopefully they can help you guys if you guys have a group of infants and you guys are looking for some things that'll make it a little bit easier for you so i'm going to go ahead and get started with the video so the first tip that i have i'm not going in order by the way these are not like from most important to least important i'm just going to give you guys the four tips in a random order so make sure you guys are watching the video completely through because you're going to get different tips and i don't know how important they are to you but just thought i would let you guys know that so the first tip is to always keep an infant report now this helps you visually see what the infant has already had sometimes you can feed them a bottle and forget to look at your watch or you don't even have a watch on and you forget when they ate last, when they pooped last, or when they peed last, or when they napped last. And it can get a little bit hectic when you don't know when their last feeding, etc., was. Especially if it's a new student, a new infant, and you're getting to know them. I think being able to have like a chart where you can see when they last ate, etc., and catch them before they get cranky is really, really important. So I just Googled an infant daily report. This one is from google and i will leave the link to this one down below i'll try and get a better close-up because i know that the light is pretty blinding right now but it does have like the diapers you could put the time if they had a wet bowel or dry and then it says potty i don't really understand why they put potty on an infant daily report if infants technically wouldn't use the potty you know what i'm saying there are a few things on this chart now that i'm talking about it that i wish that i can take out and readjust and make my own and i think i'm actually going to make my own infant report because there's a few things on here where i think aren't necessary so if you guys do download this from the link below just know that it is efficient it does what it needs to do but there are a few things that i would just take out to make this more short sweet and to the point but um it, yeah so my point is it does have a section for diapers it has a section for bottles it has a section for meal it has a section for sleep it has a special instructions so i just put that there's an allergy to pears um when they last ate so every time the baby gets dropped off or an infant gets dropped off i like to ask mom or dad when their last meal was so i know what i'm getting into at that time if that makes sense so this child was last fed at 6 30 and he was dropped off at 7 45 so his stomach is pretty full he doesn't need a feeding right away and like I said, I just like to have that question asked and I like to have a chart. This report is actually displayed on my refrigerator. I made a daycare command center. I'm going to do a separate video on that so you guys can see what it looks like. But this is actually on my fridge. So when I'm passing by the fridge, I can look at the time that's on the stove or on my watch. I can look at the time on the chart and then I can see, oh, okay, Vincent is due for a bottle soon. So you can get everything ready. It just makes everything smoother. I hope that this all is making sense to you guys. But I think that an infant daily report is good. And then at the end of the day, I take a picture of it and I send it to mom and dad. And then they can look at it and see how baby was throughout the day. So I like it. I did get this laminated and I write on it with a Sharpie pen. And then at the end of the day, I erase it with alcohol. It comes off quickly and then it's ready for the following day. And you don't have to be wasting paper sending a sheet home every single day. So the next tip that I have is have a variety of equipment. So I have a swing, I have a rocker, I have a high chair, I have bouncers, I have pack and plays, and I have walkers. And sometimes you think that the baby is cranky and you're like, oh my God, but he just ate. But when you think about it, they just want to switch activities. So having different things for them to do usually solves the issue. I have some babies that they'll be in the bouncer and then after about like 10, 15 minutes, they don't want to be in there anymore. They want to be in the swing. Their legs are tired of bouncing. So I put them in the swing. And then after that, we could put them in their pack and play so that they can start playing with the toys that they have in there so i really do think that it's going to help you as a daycare provider because you have different activities for infants but i just think that having a variety of equipment is really good because like i said if you see a baby's getting fussy and they're not due for a nap or a bottle or a diaper change you more, more, they're more than likely just bored of being where they're at so just having a variety of equipment is really helpful and it keeps the baby entertained and i think that it's really important to have a variety of things and to let you guys know, I personally think that my swing has been doing a great job with the kids. I do think that the bouncers do a really good job with the kids. Pack and play. And then just recently, walkers. I have an eight-month-old and a six-month-old. And they 
really like being in the walker because it has the toys and stuff like that. So I just really think that having a variety of equipment is really helpful when you're caring for infants. So the third tip is keep lots of extra clothes on hand and rubber bibs. So I'll talk about the rubber bibs first because I didn't know about rubber bibs. So I've had babies in the past come with cloth bibs and then I've had babies in the past come with like these plastic, um, plastics bibs. But the rubber bibs that I'm going to talk to you guys about in today's video, let me go get it. These rubber bibs are really, really, really good. So this one has a little bit of a stain, but this bib is so good. And the reason why I like it is because I can throw it in my sink with the dishes and actually clean it with a sponge and soap. And it's done within like five minutes versus cloth bibs where you gotta throw them in the washer and wash them. I know that some daycare providers here on YouTube, they do a load of laundry every single day if there's a lot of laundry before 12 p.m. I don't do a load of laundry every day and the reason why i don't do it is because my detergent isn't what every single baby uses like major not majority but my infants use draft other ones use you know what i'm saying like it's not all the same so i don't do laundry every single day and this helps a ton so i think rubber bibs is really good it doesn't get them dirty and then it's adjustable as you guys can see so i really do like these i'll have a link to them down below or to a similar style down below. And then having a lot of extra clothes is so important. You need it for infants. This is a video for infants. So for infants, I'd say have like five or six onesies on hand at all times. One day the baby can have a blowout. The other day they can throw up. Like they do a lot throughout the day and I really do think having lots and lots of extra clothes is important and make sure that you're keeping the parents up to date. So if you're sending two onesies home, you should be getting two the next day just so you can have a nice amount on hand because it's really important to keep a lot of onesies on hand. And I personally don't have any infants of my own, like my personal children. I have a two-year-old and a five and a six-year-old. He just turned six. And if an infant has like a blowout, I don't have any extra onesies on hand in my house, if that makes sense, because my kids are bigger. So just make sure that you have lots of extra clothes and then invest in buying rubber bibs. I'm going to see whenever I get a chance, I'm going to place an order and I'm going to get maybe like two or three like pink and blue just so I can have on hand for me in case I get future infants. But I really do think that rubber bibs are good and always having extra, well, lots of extra clothes on hand. And then the last tip that I have is to label everything once you get it. My infants are all using the same baby food. They get the same flavors. They also have the same diapers, those Hello Bejo diapers that they have designs on them. And right now I actually have two infants that have the same style of diaper. So right when I get it, I write their name on it really quickly because you don't want to get their stuff confused. And I, as a parent, wouldn't want my kid coming home with other people's child's things if that makes sense so every morning whenever mom or dad brings me anything i immediately label it so make sure you're labeling every single thing i know that for licensing in certain states you need to have every single thing labeled regardless but if you guys aren't doing that or you guys aren't taking that extra step i really do think that you should take it because it's going to help you in the long run and you're not like oh my god who's onesie is this or whose diaper is this it's going to help you if you guys just label everything so those are the four tips that I came up with. Of course, there's other things that you need to have, um, but these were the four that I thought that I would go ahead and include in today's video. So that basically completes today's video. I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. And if you guys are new to my channel, I do have a daycare playlist here on my YouTube channel. I will have it linked above and down below. There's about like 17 or 18 daycare videos on there so you guys can check them out. And if you guys have any questions, as always, leave them down below. And then if you guys have any requests, also leave them down below because I write down every single one of your requests and I'm actually starting to film your guys's request so once again thank you so much for watching please subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video